know that change can be scary, but it can also be exciting. Amy is back as Princess Giselle reuniting with her enchanted co-stars Patrick, James Marsden, and Adina Menzel. As you can see, Giselle, everyone has their place. They're joining Maya and Gabrielle Baldacchino for a new musical fairy tale, Disenchanted. We bring love from Andalasia. Would you like to pick a crown? Yes. We that do. looks great on you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Congratulations on Disenchanted. Thank you. I was a huge fan of the original. Maya, I know that you're also a fan of the original. I am. What was it like seeing Amy dressed up as Giselle? I genuinely was starstruck, even though I knew Amy <laughs> for years. <laughs> for years. But then I got to work one day, and and Giselle was there. And yes in that beautiful blue gown, which is my favorite thing she wears in the whole movie that she's dancing in. And I got I got excited like I was talking to a real princess. Oh my god. And it just changed, uh, there's something about it, it's different. Yeah, Giselle, right. is, Giselle is real. Like yeah. I, I think it was because I had my own relationship with Giselle. Yeah. So then I got to talk to her, it was, re yes. it was really exciting. Gabby, what was it like for you to step into this World. Of course, I was like five or six when the movie came out. I was too. How old do all of us feel right now? We were five or six. Yes, same. So same. All of us. Sisters. But it's like it brings out that like nostalgia, that younger side in you. And Amy coming back to Giselle after fifteen years. Yeah, fifteen years. I know. It was. It was wonderful. I mean. I know I sounded so Giselle. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Yeah. I, it was so great to get to embody her. Like when I walked away from her 15 years ago, I didn't know if I'd ever get to embody her again. So getting to put her back, not only on but in my body, was yes. just such a joy to get to feel her spirit again. She's, she's just very uh, intoxicating for me. You know, I feel like I'm yeah. sort of get drunk with Giselle's love <laughs> and, and joy and spirit. And so it's, it was just such a joy. Do you find yourself like using her voice like in your in your life? Every once in a while I slip into Giselle and I don't mean yeah. to. Like I sing out Say the window yes. to my daughter sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Just believe in yourself. She's like, mother. Yes. Did you bring your kids to set? Well, because of COVID, we did oh. not. So it was very, you know, but but um but we all came they came to Ireland. We were all in Ireland to make the movie, which was oh pretty gosh. pretty incredible. Yeah. One day they got to be in. They got to be, they in, got to be in the fair, yeah. in the really? in the yeah in the, in Monrelasia. And obviously in the market scene, the dragon fruit scene, she walks oh. by. Oh, I think yeah. she's still in there. She is. Yeah. She is. yeah if oh, you want to, so if you want to come to set, you gotta you, you gotta, gotta dress up. You gotta work for yeah, it. Yeah, you, you gotta earn it. I mean, it's the dream. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely. The absolute dream. This world feels very different. This time, Giselle and her family move to the suburbs. I wish for a fairy tale life. But a wish gone wrong, and it's all gone terribly wrong. Or terribly right. Turns her into a wicked stepmother. She makes a wish that the world could be more simple like a fairy tale, and then she realizes that perhaps it's not so simple. Yeah. And she learns she has to grow and evolve um, in order to see her happily ever after. Which yeah. is a lesson that I think all of us can yeah. learn from, yeah. you know? I think even when I talk about Giselle, my voice goes up. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that. I know, I was <laughs> like, mm, did that just like, happen? Oh, yeah, yeah. It does, it's because I love her you so much. You love her. I do yes. love her. That's palpable. Yeah. Complicating it even more, her rival, Malvina. She wants to be the queen bee of the town and, okay. um, you know, win the popularity contest right. and is right. like, you know, best at, you know, the, she's the, the head of the PTA and the one who makes the best cupcakes and does not she's want to be challenged. To hate, right? She yes. used to make the best cupcakes. Until <gasps> somebody showed up. Oh, oh so God. she does not like that. And we were lucky to get this one. Oh it was yeah, you so it amazing! Back. It's so fun. It's like every like diva, you know, just larger than life, but ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, every behavior is worse than the neck. So it's to me that's very joyful because it's so funny and yeah. ridiculous. I mean, even when we meet her in the real world, she's so she's great, so, so awful, hilarious. and it's workout so. Clothes. She just wears workout clothes. She doesn't work out. Yeah, she's yeah. Just like. <laughs> Where's the? I've never done that. I've never, never. done that. No, I no. Only really no I, I really, I don't know. I can't relate to that. Disenchanted debuts only on Disney Plus Friday. You're hilarious. <laughs>